Welcome back my friends, this is Eduardo Restrepo, Mr. Roboto and today we're gonna do another tutorial about Bex BR I hope that you like it, these are things that we can use in our competition in RoboJam so please be sure you check out our website robojam.live and maybe you can register in one of your countries that we have right now 9, 10 different countries that you can register at and participate also with this tool with Bex Code BR. So right now, I, we're gonna talk today about how to use sensors uh, to solve one of the, the color challenge that we have there, the this uh, maze uh, that we have in, in, in Bex BR. So last time we checked um, how to do some movement, how to make some shapes, how to draw stuff with the robot. If you haven't seen it, please, or here or here click over here you should be able to see that video that was our first video so that's it we're gonna start talking about specs code BR and remember when we first start this is the interface that we got you don't have to uh, see the tutorial you can just close that remember that we can change the language if we want if you prefer and that's it so we have we're gonna open the playground and we're gonna open the map that we're gonna use today which is the disc maze this maze is something that we use in the coloring challenge first season now we're using um, the other maze the regular maze we're using it right now uh, the wall maze it's now for the coloring challenge but we're gonna see it anyway so basically the first thing we have to understand is what we need to do so according to this, this is the view from the robot. This is the perspective view. We have to go around, navigate through the disc. We are supposed to touch all the color discs or at least the surface of each color and end up in the red one. How do you do that? That's the first thing that you have to understand. How to, are you gonna do that? How are you gonna accomplish that? So if we see, we can go in a straight line if I turn to the right, every time we have the green disc of the ring color, then it will go to the blue one. And in the blue one, we just turn to the left. So every time we go to a blue, turn to the left. Every, one, every time we go to a green one, turn to the right. And it should work. So let, let's see if we can make it. So for this, we're going to use some blocks. The first block we're going to use is the uh, if the conditional okay so we're gonna have two conditions okay first one if 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 we are sensing we're gonna sense the the bottom we're gonna sense the down eye we have two different um two different sensors down eye and front eye so it depends on what we want to do we want to look down is because it's bigger the one here it's a little bit smaller so we might miss it so we're going to do if the down eye detects green we're going to turn to the right 90 degrees actually we're going to do like a slightly reverse Ah, well, well, we can do those tweaks in a moment. And we're gonna do the same for the, uh, if it detects blue, we're gonna turn to the left. We already established that. So this conditional, a conditional is basically, you're putting the condition. If this happens, do this. If it doesn't happen, you do something else. So I'm gonna go, and I'm just gonna put, another one that is called while while so if it's in red uh, we just just put it and we're gonna put another one that says if it senses red when it senses red it's gonna stop Yeah, okay, so we're gonna do that, those three things. 
Now we have to make it always be able to, that it always, it always starts moving. So the first thing I'm gonna put is I'm gonna put a forever. So this repeats over and over. And I'm gonna make it, hey, you know what? Always drive forward. If it detects green, turn right 90 degrees and then you continue. If it detects uh, blue, turn left 90 degrees and it continues. Or if the down eye detects red, stop. Okay, let's see what happens now. So it's going great. It's just doing great. Look how beautiful. It's very slow. Okay, you can make it just uh, faster by using the velocity, the drive uh, velocity and the turn velocity. We already talked about that in the first tutorial. Okay, look, it's doing great. Is doing it by itself, and when it goes to that one, it finish. Amazing, amazing! It's really cool. We're able to see it to do it really quick. So it's done. Yep. Now <coughs> let's see what happens when I put it a little bit faster. You're gonna see the difference. Okay. You're gonna see that now it very likely makes some mistakes okay even though it's the same programming why because every time we do things faster it, it's gonna read the algorithm a little bit different so it might make some mistakes in this case apparently it's doing great and it finishes great so this is what it is in case it makes some mistakes what we can do is just make it like go back every time before the turning just to step back to drive uh, in reverse, 50 millimeters, something very small. So that way it can accommodate itself. But right now it's working. So that's basically what it is. So this is it. This is how we do the, um, the sensors. We do here the control blocks that we were doing. And that's it. That's pretty much it. So I hope it's clear. I hope you liked it. And that's the tutorial for today. What are the different things you can do if you want to tweak it? Again, is it possible to do it backwards? What if after we go red, it rotates and it tries to go to the beginning again? That can be another challenge, right? So to do the complete cycle. So you can work on that. That's it. Uh, I think that's it. So I, all I'm going to say is Remember to subscribe to here to our channel. Please subscribe. Uh, leave any messages, any comments that you want to leave. And that's it. This is Mr. Robotic. Robotica. Panamente Sinquietas. Robotics for Curious Minds. Bye-bye.